Hey guys, as you see behind me, we have a package unit to do today. Um, a fellow contractor is helping me get that done while I get on to the next call. So stay tuned. Well, well guys, this one customer complained that it runs all the time I do not hear I do not hear the compressor running but the condenser fan motor is <laughs> oh. First thing, let's check that capacitor because that could very well be the whole problem. It's reading 40 and that is probably correct. Got us a cap in a box. That's apparently a five. That's a 4D and 3, so it's, it's reading good. But if we had us a 4D and 5, we could do away with that other capacitor. I think it's time to take a look at that compressor and make sure we don't have a burnt terminal or a wire burnt.
one's gonna have those old terminals on it like a not not a plug thing is hot I mean smoking hot Ooh. let's just make sure these are all plugged up Y'all can see more than I can. That little start wire seems mighty small, but you don't need a whole lot. All right, compressor smoking hot. We're normally running in heat right now, so I might need to take a close look at the blower motor. Forgive me, I was talking to the person who lives here. This is a five. Come on. I'm getting 3.6. That is weak. And I don't think it's weak enough to make the blower stop. We may have bigger problems. So, um... plug this back up for right now and focus more on I'm gonna focus more on the comp the compressor alright so my compressor's cooled off Getting a bunch of phone calls. I'm gonna put my probes on here and get ready to read pressures as soon as this thing fires up. It might be out of Freon or something. Amps. All right, it just came on. That's my startup amps. 
seven five. That's not bad. Only ten amps. Blower is on. I think this is an R22 system. Those pressures are going kind of high. Yeah, this is R22 right there. Oh, do y'all see what I'm seeing? Let's test this real quick. 5.11 microfarads. All right. Okay, now for this. You can glue these and they'll and they'll stay, but if it's easy to tack them up, why not? <clears throat> this right here you see where the coil is <clears throat> I'm gonna try to stay away from that
here. See if that makes any difference. The coal is clean. That was just hanging loose. All right, now let's see how we're doing. Head pressure still seems to be a little bit high. Let's keep an eye on it. a TXV that goes both ways which means it meters in both directions mm. that's on um, tell you what I'm going to try to get a sub cooling on this. I don't like it that fast. sturdy all right so this should be where I get my sub cooling Sub cooling. Really high sub cooling. Yep, this is R22. Come on, I'm right here. Subcooling uh, 55 degrees.
three. Apparently this thing has been working fine until this happened. see what it does in cool real quick. When I give it, it's like 66 degrees in there. That self cooling is going to be off because it's on the other side of the THV. Considering these temperatures, it's 43 degrees out here, and 66 inside, that right there seems to be normal. Why would it be um, locking down in one direction and not the other? go back in heat let's see how old this thing is real quick 1999 24 years old Suction pressure just keeps going down, down, down. And head pressure's going high. I'm just going to watch it to verify what um, I'm suspecting already. It is slower to climb the really high head pressure right now. But that's already abnormal. That suction pressure right there doesn't look too crazy. beginning to think I might be overcharged because that suction pressure don't look terrible okay that's about where I was when I started with the that dirty filter I think I'm gonna leave it there I have just recovered probably less than a pound I do think it was charged with something other than R22 40 amps. 
heat's now doing good. Yeah, sometimes you gotta understand with these R22 systems that anymore most people aren't going to charge most people are not going to use R22 I'm not we're just going to have to watch this and see how it does it's really too cold to run it and check pressures check pressures and cooling anyway all right so this one this one is done I almost forgot about that All right, this is the package unit that we um, were ready to install this morning. I believe my heat kit's gonna go in here. They did not send a heat kit with it. Got it all siliconed up. Sitting up on a pad. I think it looks pretty good. I have to get him a heat kit and come back and install that. That pad was the exact same size, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I may have done this um, whip a little differently, but that passes muster. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That one, I didn't want to just jump in and assume it's been overcharged. That's why you saw me going through and checking everything that I could. But um, that system's certainly going to do a lot better now, and her heat will shut off. And um, we got us an install done today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.